Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the portfolio. Welcome back to the channel. Great to have everyone back. As I do with all my videos, want to first start off by saying thank you to all the viewers and all the subscribers supporting the channel. Immensely appreciate that. For today's video, I thought I'd do a quick update on the portfolio, as well as talking about all of the dividend payments for November 2021. For November, 12 dividend payments, $529.92 to the account in dividends. Uh, before we do that, let's take a quick look at the portfolio. As you can see here up on screen, the portfolio definitely has pulled back here quite significantly. 813,551. Over the past one week of trading, you can see it's down 15,657. And over the past one month of trading, you can see it is up 42,163. However, at one point, it was up to almost uh, 85, 86,000. Actually, getting up here, 87,000 at one point so it definitely has pulled back a lot of that has to do with some options trades and some unfortunate positions that i did get into uh, as you can see up on screen here i have been rolling forward two of these contracts cgc 13 50 put sell 20 cells those are definitely in the negative and then robin hood here 33 50 put sells uh, 10 cells so i have to get out of those contracts currently for this week of trading about 90, or excuse me, about $9,800 in premium with options. However, if I do have to buy those CGC contracts and hood contracts back, I'm only up about $1,500, which is better than being in the negative as I was last week, but still have some work to go to make sure this is a successful week of trading options. But let's go ahead and go to the history and take a look at all the dividend payments. So diving into history, let's go over to dividends. Let's scroll down to the beginning of November. Again, for November, 12 dividend payments, 529.92 was credited to the account. And a lot of that has to do with AT&T, a very large payment with uh, T, AT&T. So on the bottom, you can see Verizon VZ, $1.92. AT&T, as I talked about, one of the larger holdings in the portfolio, 750 shares. I have 52 cents per share in dividends for total dividend payment of $390. So very good dividend payment with AT&T. Moving down, O, one of my favorite real estate investment trusts, uh, uh, $9.44 with O. CL, Colgate, $3.60. Procter & Gamble, PG, $5.22. AVI, ABBV, and Abbott Laboratories, ABT, two of the original stocks in the Robinhood portfolio, $40.30 and $27 credited to the account. MS Morgan Stanley, $7. STAG, $0.12. Cents. Prospect Capital, a business development company, another one of the original holdings in the Robinhood portfolio, $24. A WAB, $0.12. Cents. An SPHD, an, an ETF that pays a monthly dividend, $21.20. So again, 12 dividend payments for $529.92. And you can see for next week, I talked about Ford Motor Company has recently reinstated its dividend. And you can see here a nice payment of $1,570 in December. Uh, 15,700 shares in the portfolio. This is the largest holding in the portfolio. And as you guys know, Ford Motor Company has been doing very, very well over the last few weeks, few months of trading. Let's go ahead and take a look at Ford Motor Company. Continuing to do well here over the past one week, up 0.3%, but one month up 24.97%. Three months, 54.12%, and over the past one year of trading, 119.78%. So very pleased with Ford Motor Company. And as you can see, largest holding in the portfolio, 317,457, 15,700 shares in the portfolio, and total return almost $200,000, 197.749. So very pleased so far with Ford Motor Company. I'm not going to add to the holdings. I might actually even try to take some profits with Ford Motor Company, but it's in a very good position moving forward with its EV business taking off. So overall, very happy with Ford Motor Company and definitely driving the portfolio up over the past few weeks, few months of trading. But again, over the past one week of trading, it is down 15,629. And I do have some options here that I may have to roll again as I did last week with CGC, Canopy Growth, and Robinhood HOOD. But again, just wanted to quickly do an update on the portfolio and talk about all of November's dividends. Again, 12 dividend payments for 529.92. 
for November 2021. So with that, I'll end the video. Again, if you guys enjoyed the video series, if you guys enjoyed the YouTube channel, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If there's a particular video you guys want seen posted on the channel, please let me know in the comment threads down below and I'll do my best to get out a video for you guys. I do have an Excel spreadsheet with a few ideas that you guys have put on the channel that are still pending and I hope to get out here before the end of the year. But again, if there is anything you guys want seen posted on the channel, please let me know and I'll do my best to get out a video. So with that, I'll end the video and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.